Ezra Venechamya, Nehemiah 12. Now these are the priests and the Leviim that went up with Zerubbabel, the son of Shelatiel, and Yeshua, Serayahu, Yermiyahu, Ezra, Amariyahu, Maluk, Chatush, Shachanyahu, Recham, Meriot, Ido, Gineto, Aliyahu, Miyamin, Maadeah, Bilga, Shemayahu, and Yoraiv, Yedaya, Kalu, Amoch, Kilkiyahu, Yedaya. These were the chief of the priests and of their brethren in the days of Yahshua. Moreover, the Leviim, Yahshua, Binui, Chad, Miel, Shereva, rather, Sherevya, Yahuda, and Matanyahu, which was over the thanksgiving, he and his brethren. Also, Bach Buyach, rather, Bach Buchya, and Uni, their brethren, were over against them in the watches. And Yahshua begat at Yoyachim. Yoyachim also begat at Elashiv. And Elashiv begat at Yoyada. And Yoyada begat at Yonathan. And Yonathan begat at Yadua. And in the days of Yoyachim were priests, the chief of the fathers of Seriyahu, Meriah, of Yermiyahu, Hananyahu, of Ezra, Meshalam, of Emariyahu, Yahu Hanan, of Maluk, Yonathan, of Shevanyahu, Yosef, of Harim, Adna, of Merioth, Kelcha, of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnithan, Meshalam, of Aviyahu, Zikri, of Minyamin, of Moadya, Piltai, of Bilga, Shamoa, of Shemayahu, Yahunathan, and of Yoyariv, Matanai, of Yeria, Uzi, of Kalu, Kalai, of Amok, Iber, of Kilki, Yahu, Chashav, Yahu, of Yeria, Nathan, El, the Leviim in the days of Elishav, Yoyada, and Yahu, Hanan, and Yadua were recorded chief of the fathers, also the priests to the reign of Dariavish, the Persian, the sons of Levi, the chief of the fathers, were written in the Sefer of the Chronicles, even until the days of Yahu Hanan, the son of Eliashiv, rather, Eliashiv, and the chief of the Leviim, Chashav Yahu, Sherav Yah, and Yahshua, the son of Quad Miel, with their brethren over against them, to praise and to give thanks, according to the commandment of David, the man of Elohim, ward over against ward. And Matanyahu, and Bachbuyah, Ovadyahu, Meshalam, Talmon, Achuv, were porters guarding the ward at the thresholds of the gates. These were in the days of Yoyachim, the son of Yahshua, the son of Yahut Sadach, and in the days of Nehemiah, the governor, and of Ezra, the priest, the scribe, and at the dedication of the wall of Yerushalayim, 
they sought at the Levim out of all their places to bring them to Yerushalayim to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgivings and with singing, with cymbals, psalteries, and with harps. And the sons of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the plain country round about Yerushalayim and from the villages of Natofati, also from Beit Hag Gilgal and out of the fields of Giva and Asmaveth, for the singers had built them villages round about Yerushalayim. And the priests and the Leviim purified themselves, and purified at the people, and at the gates, and at the wall. Then I brought up at the princes of Yahuda upon the wall, and appointed two great companies of them that gave thanks, whereof one went on the right hand upon the wall toward the dung gate, and after them went Hushayah, and half of the princes of Yahuda, and Azariahu, Ezra, and Mushalam, rather Meshalam, Yahuda, and Binyamin, and Shemayahu, and Yermiyahu, and certain of the priests' sons with trumpets, namely Zachariahu, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemayahu, the son of Matanyahu, the son of Mikayahu, the son of Zakar, the son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemayahu and Azar El, Milal I, Gilal I, Ma'ai, Nathan El, and Yahuda, Hanani, with the musical instruments of David the man of Elohim, and Ezra, the scribe before them. And at the fountain gate, which was over against them, they went up by the stairs of the city of David, at the going up of the wall, above the house of David, even unto the water gate eastward. And the other company of them that gave thanks went over against them, and I after them, and the half of the people upon the wall, from beyond the tower of the furnaces, even unto the broad wall, and from above the gate of Ephraim, and above the old gate, and above the fish gate, and the tower of Hananel, and the tower of Mi'ah, even unto the sheep gate, and they stood still in the prison gate. So stood the two companies of them that gave thanks in the house of Elohim, and I, and the half of the rulers with me, and the priests, Elohim, Ma'aseyahu, Minyamin, Mikeyahu, Eliyahu Anai, Zechariah, and Hananyahu, with trumpets, and Ma'aseyahu, and Shemayahu, and Eleazar, and Uzi, and Yahu Hanan, and Malkiyahu, and Elam, and Dezer. And the singers sang loud with Yizrachiah, their overseer. Also, that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced. For Elohim had made them rejoice with great joy. The women also and the children rejoiced, so that the joy of Yerushalayim was heard even afar off. And at that time were some appointed over the chambers for the treasures, for the offerings, for the first fruits, and for the tithes, to gather into them out of the fields of the cities the portions of the Torah. For the priests and Levim, for Yahuda, rejoice for the priests and for the Levim that waited. And both the singers and the porters guarded the ward of their Elohim and the ward of the purification 
according to the commandment of David and of Shalomah, his son. For in the days of David and Echaf of old, there were chief of the singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving unto Elohim. And all Yashadael in the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah gave the portions of the singers and the porters every day his portion. And they sanctified holy things unto the Leviim, and the Leviim, rather, and the Leviim sanctified them unto the children of Eharon.